I am not procrastinating this dining room revamp any longer. I've got the hutch done. You guys saw that video. It was so fun and what a difference. And now it's time to tackle my dining room table. I don't even honestly like this table, but it's a sentimental table to my husband. So we're gonna be keeping it. But I definitely was not a fan of that plain blonde wood. The set is rather old, believe it or not. It's in amazing condition, but it did nothing in this room. It just kind of disappeared. It never even stood out to me. It was just a table and mostly it was just a catch-all. I would throw everything on that. Well, I'm gonna redo it. And my inspiration for the table, which you guys, I've told you this a hundred times, I am so indecisive, it's not funny. But when I did this hutch and I left the interior, that gorgeous aged cherry and patina that it had in there, and I did the outside black, I mean, I am super in love with this hutch. So that's what I'm gonna take my cue from. And I am gonna make this table just as fabulous using those two colors. Let's do this. As you can see, there is nothing special about this bland table. It just kind of fades into the background, but we're gonna change that real quick. First, I need to sand the entire table and remove the finish. And then I can start applying my coats of Benjamin Moore Historical Black. It is the same color that I used for my um, hutch and I really, really love it. It does go on blue, um, which can be, you know, rather like, ooh, oh but I can assure you it dries to that gorgeous black you see in the background. And I think that doing that to this base is really anchoring it and making a statement out of it, making it something that your eye is drawn to rather than something that just merely sat there and blended into the background. And that is how I felt the other table looked, just nothing special. I'm thinking it's definitely going to take two to three coats of coverage for this on the table um, and then it will look spectacular. I have a tip for you guys when you're painting. If you have to pause your project, um, whether it's wait for different layers to dry or maybe you have to take care of a baby or the phone rang, you don't have to wash your brush and you don't have to worry about it drying out. You just need a baggie or some plastic wrap, stick it in there, just fold it over and it will always keep the brush moist and ready to be used again. It will not dry out. You can also do this technique and stick it in the refrigerator for up to a week and come back to your project and it's still good to go. It will not dry out, so that's a fun tip to know. Now we're just gonna let this dry. Oh, that's my silly rosy posy for you. <laughs> I didn't know until I saw this. Aren't you cute? Here I'm gonna use my orbital sander and I am going to remove the old finish off of the table. I am going to go with the grain and remove it down to the bare wood. It does take a while to do it, so have patience. And also it does make a mess. So I do not suggest doing this indoors. I had no choice, it is what it is. And I can assure you I was cleaning till midnight. Here I'm going to be using my detail sander to do the bullnose um, edge of the table as it's smaller and can do that point. It's literally hours later, but the table is done. I do not recommend doing this inside like I did, 
trust me, I had a lot of cleaning to do, uh, but I didn't have a choice, so I did it inside. So now we're down to the raw wood on the table and I need to get all the dust off of this. I don't have a tack cloth, so what I'm going to use is a little bit of my um, vinegar spray. You don't want to use anything like pledge or anything like that that's going to repel the stain in any way, shape, or form. So I'm just going to put a little bit of that vinegar spray on my rag and give my table a nice wipe down. I'm not staining it tonight. My hands hurt so bad from that, but it is stripped down. It is beautiful. It is the next day and I am super excited to get this table stained. Now there's one more thing that I'm going to do before I start staining this table and that is I am going to use a simple can of air and I'm actually going to spray out these seams that you can see because I'll guarantee you there's some sawdust in there that we don't want. So let's clean those out before we actually start the staining process. only tools that I'm going to need to actually stain this table are a gel stain, a foam brush to spread it. I'm going to have gloves on because I really don't want to stain my hands. And I just have an old sock that I'm going to use to wipe it off. I just want to show you the consistency of the gel stain, which I actually like. I just feel like you have a little bit more control using a gel. So let's get started. So I'm just going to use my foam brush and I'm going to apply the gel stain onto the table um, going with the grain of the wood again and I'm doing it in sections. I'm going to wipe it off gently using that clean sock I showed you and I'm going to feather it into each other. The end result is gorgeous. I love this. So I've had the fan on this table for quite a while. I wanted the stain to really cure into it, which it has. So now we're gonna apply our first coating of a polyurethane sealer. And I'm actually gonna use a water-based one. I'm just gonna use my Worcester brush and I'm going to apply the polyurethane liberally to the table. We are on coat three of my polyurethane. I'm probably gonna do five to six. But one thing I wanna mention is in between coats of the polyurethane, you are gonna to wanna to use a very, very, very fine um, steel wool and go over the whole table, then remove that dust, and then you can put your next layer of polyurethane on. Let me show you. You just want to lightly use that steel wool and go over the entire surface of the table. Five coats later and it's done. It is so smooth, so nice. I am so excited. <laughs> with this transformation. Wow. I'm just gonna add my table square back on um, and I actually like how it just lets that gorgeous color peek through in the corners and it allows me to see what it's gonna look like put together a little bit better than just plain and I am so in love with this table. Now, the chairs that I have are only staying here long enough until my other ones are completed. 
I ended up finding four ladderback antique beautiful chairs at the antique place. Um, and I'm having a little work done to them. Somebody actually cut them. So I'm having them raised again, and this is gonna look great. And I'm also having the seats recaned. So that's what's gonna go with this set. And I'm still looking for two more captain's chairs, but we'll talk about those later. This room is turning into everything that I hoped it would be plus more. This table is no longer anything that just fades into the background. This table is an absolute statement piece. It holds its own in this room. And actually I find it to be another anchor to my room. I cannot believe the difference that I see beyond my expectations. I love it. I am getting so excited for this dining room makeover. And now that the table's done, I can work on the walls. I have new window coverings. I have another piece of furniture right over there that has to have something done to it and I have a new piece of furniture that I'm not going to show you yet because I'm actually going to do something to that so I will show you that one when it's done but I am really happy with how this is looking. <laughs> if you're new to my channel you might want to consider hitting that subscribe button. I make new videos every week and you never know what they're going to be about. Maybe it's a scratch cooking recipe I want to share with you, a DIY project I'm going to tackle, but it's always about making my handmade home one day at a time. Thanks so much for joining me for this phase of the dining room revamp, and I am so excited for all the rest to come, so stay tuned. In fact, if you hit that bell, you'll never miss an upload. You won't even have to worry about it. And if you like what you saw here today, please give me a thumbs up. It definitely helps my channel and keeps me going so others can find me. Maybe somebody else wants to do a dining room table like this. You never know. Anyways, thanks again so much, and I'll see you guys real soon. <laughs> Love it.